It's Project for Awesome time! What's up? How are you? Hundreds of people create videos that advocate for their favorite charities and thousands of people take part in the goofy and awesome 48 hour YouTube live stream with many, many hosts. As a community, we discuss and promote the created videos, raise money for charity through the Indiegogo campaign, and vote on that money's distribution to decrease the overall level of world suck. If you'd like to learn more, the Project for Awesome home base is right here. This year, my charity choice is Willow's Wings Animal Sanctuary and Rescue, which is dedicated to caring for animals large and small, many of which have been abandoned, neglected, or abused. From their website, this is a home, first and foremost, to all the animals here. Their well-being is our first priority. We rescue the misfit creatures of the world, the ones who have been left deemed as too much of a manual or financial burden to be worthy of caring for. We treat every life with the dignity and respect they deserve. We stand true to our slogan, they may be old, sick, or disabled, but their lives matter too. Do you wanna see firsthand what makes them so awesome? Let's go. It's like such a nice view up here. Yeah, is that nice? Yeah, look. Hi, Zoe! We have officially been a 501c3 nonprofit for just about three years now. I mean, it all started when I was a child, and my mom used to t say that I was the Pied Piper, <laughs> and animals followed me everywhere. And I guess that is true to life because they are still following and seeking out shelter with me to this day. We have over 100 animals on the farm. We are a farm home sanctuary. So in our home, we have dogs and cats and parrots and a tortoise. We also have a, a farm which houses horses with broken shoulders, senior horses, blind horses, um, ponies that are also blind. We have discarded potbelly pigs, goats, ducks, chickens, and geese that are all seniors. We have dogs from all over the world. We have dogs from Thailand. We have dogs from China. We have dogs from Iran. We have, actually, we have a dog coming from Egypt. We have dogs from all over the United States, international countries. Their flights and their transport is sponsored. Um, which is a huge savings to us. Every once in a while, we'll run into a situation when we're cleaning a bedding where a dog that had been we had been doing therapy with to try and teach to stand and learn to balance on their own will suddenly muster up that strength and then stand up and glance at you with a look of pure accomplishment. Our biggest challenge here at Willow's Wings is trying to meet our, our financial needs. Sick, old, and disabled animals come with a little bit higher medical needs than the average healthy pet. So along with those medical needs comes vet bills, special diets, and all of those cost money. We do not receive any funding from any grants or have not so far. The animals are part of my family and I will do whatever it takes to make sure that I provide the best medical care for them possible. The, the biggest challenge is not only making people aware that a senior or a, da a disabled dog still has a very good quality of life, but their quality of life is dependent on medical needs. And it's not a waste to spend money on a dog that may be a senior dog. It's, if the dog lives one or two years past a much needed surgery, then it, in my heart I know that I gave that dog the best last couple of years of its life. And there is a concept that people say, well, I'm afraid to come there because I'll be sad. The animals here are very happy. The animals are very well cared for. We try to make every day to them as being part of a, a normal family life and a normal animal's life. And people leave here knowing that the animals are free roaming the entire house. They're part of my entire family. People leave here in amazement that that even though they're sick or they're disabled, they're just like any other happy animal. To get more information on Willow's Wings, you can go to the doobly-doo or go to this place right here, and you can actually see some of the personal stories of some of the animals that you've seen in this video. As always, summary info is down in the doobly-doo video description. And that's it. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to vote, donate, participate, and enjoy Project for Awesome, the FTPA.
a bunch of tail wagging going on over there. I told his mom I was going to video him knowing exactly where he's going. <laughs> Nana, you're blowing the way for bed. Oh, look at the little eyes. Little... I should just check it make sure it's good for us. <laughs> this is a practice round. Dodo is worldwide. You got to touch that. Door all the way closed. Very true toward eyes. How does it feel? How does it feel to be among all the cats? <laughs> Tortoise and cat. They're right with each other. Well, they love each other. They just are constantly, the cats love the hay and they burrow in the hay and then the turtle just walks right over to them. <laughs> it's the one with the iron burn. Yep, came yeah. from San Antonio. Yep. All right. Oh, look. Oh, look at